What we realize is that the increase of CO2 that humans have caused from 280 to 385 parts per million is already enough to get us into the dangerous zone. If, if we were just to leave it at 385 and leave it there for many centuries, we would melt most of the glaciers around the world, mountain glaciers around the world. We would lose all the ice in the Arctic uh, sea ice in the warm season. We would cause a lot of problems. So if we want to preserve a climate like the one that we've known for the last 10 to 12,000 years, we probably have to decrease CO2 at least back to 350 and probably even somewhat lower than that, closer to what it was before we started to mess with the system. But that's still possible because, you know, the ocean and the soils and the biosphere are taking up CO2. Our forestry practices and our agricultural practices could be modified to bring CO2 back down much more quickly. It's a natural type of geoengineering, but try to get the CO2 back where it came from. And that, I think, will be an important part of solving the problem.